Forget about your goals and find something that scares the shit out of you. So for example, you know, when I was starting my business, even when I started online and started making YouTube videos, I wasn't sure what was up ahead. I knew what I wanted, which was to be able to put food on the table. The main thing for me was the fear of not being able to care for my family. I knew I wanted a home for them, but even that was not as eminent as I can't pay the bills or creditors are going to come knocking at my door or I'm going to have to turn off the lights or I'm not going to be able to buy food. These things that were gnawing at me, chasing me, chomping at my butt, those were the things that got me up every single day to do what I had to do. I'm kind of like, like a wartime general. I do really well under pressure. I need pressure there for me in order to get me going. So what I've found in my life is that when things are going tough, when the war is at my back door, when there is a threat that's uh, imminent, that's when it's showtime. You know what? Whenever I face anything that's challenging, whenever anything sucks, I like it. It's gonna make me tougher. It's gonna to give me a good story to tell. It's gonna to toughen my mind. You know what military training is? You know what military training is? You know how they form a bond in military groups? They make you do stuff that sucks. That's what they do. So when something sucks, good, good. It's gonna make me tougher and it's gonna make us stronger. And through a period of time, your brain doesn't like it, but it starts to realize this is a new way of thinking. We are now doing things that we are uncomfortable doing. We are doing things that we don't want to do. So the brain starts to slowly grow. And let's say you don't like to get up early in the morning time to go run. I hated it. I still hate it. You do that. You live uncomfortable to gain growth. You have to have friction in your life to gain growth. And the only way to do that is to make yourself uncomfortable and get to the point where instead of running from the things you don't want to do, you actually face them and start to gain more and more growth in your life. Yeah, you know, that chaos, that chaotic, chaotic state. Everyone's all fearful of it, you know. Everyone much rather prefer comfort state as opposed to chaotic state. If I had that option, if I had the fork in the road in life, and I don't know where to go, what path to go, the comfort path or the chaotic path, you can damn well bet I'm going down the chaotic path. Why? Because I know that is going to be a path that leads to the creation of what I want. Nothing grows in comfort. Nothing but laziness and lethargic nature. Chaotic keeps you sharp. Keeps you looking, keeps you, you know, when you're comfortable, you're not looking at your six. But you're going down an alley in the middle of the night, man, that's in a tough neighborhood, you're fucking looking, aren't you? Well, that kind of reaction, man, a chaotic state, that's your body looking. You're changing, you're aware, you're picking things up, you're analyzing everything. All of that is soaking in the transformation of an explosion of what you want to be, man. For a diamond to be produced, it has to go through extreme pressure, extreme heat. And if that wasn't enough, what makes a diamond a diamond is the cut. So if you want to be a diamond, you must go through extreme pressure. If you can't take pressure, then you're not a diamond. After you go through all the pressure you thought you could not handle, 